Hey, and welcome to the Sad Chick Cocoon, a channel dedicated to past life and karmic healing and breaking of generational curses to activate the divine feminine within. So we are here with session eight, and we're going to go ahead and jump into this energy of compassion. Okay, so this week, we're really trying to get this caterpillar to be more compassionate to embrace this energy of compassion right and when you think about compassion the the words that come to mind are caring empathy acceptance and gentleness okay um so it's all about releasing accepting gently rising above okay your truest path forward is the path of compassion so in order to move forward in order to grow you have to be on this path of compassion okay and that's the that's the energy that is being um lit up for you right that divine guidance you're being guided down this path of compassion now okay so the latin word for compassion literally means co-suffering okay so when you think about compassion it's not an invitation to suffer but rather to allow yourself and others to rise above Above, beyond suffering through the light of genuine empathy and understanding okay the call to compassion is a call to accept people and situations for who they are and where they are at okay as we let go of judgment and the need to fix a situation or to label things as good or bad we begin to realize that every situation carries with it a gift and that we each have unique lessons to learn by judging or focusing on each other's faults we contribute to keeping each other stuck in those places okay so it's really you know us lack it's, it's really a lack of acceptance of other people that stems from a deeper judgment of ourselves okay that puts us in this place of being um not being compassionate okay so it's seeing is learning to see and treat people in our highest light okay that is the way to the sun okay so before you judge someone is it's always good to take a moment to feel and stand in their shoes and see where they are how they got there you know be empathetic right you know see see beyond what is being presented is what I'm getting for for this energy okay um accept accept what people show you what people give you right um and don't try to to fix it right allow things to evolve on their own right just be understanding of where people are and i feel like that's the energy that this caterpillar is, is really having to embrace so that she can have healthy relationships okay so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this read this session okay um and it's interesting because a spirit was just like just give this background okay give this little piece of knowledge so that you can you can have a, a, a solid foundation to build upon so people know what it means to be compassionate, okay? Um, so that's amazing energy. So where we're going to start is we're going to start with... Um, I don't have no emotions. So I guess we have to start with the straight up and down. So we'll start with a straight up and down. One from um, one from one from each deck, right? Remember last session we had the decks split in two, so we we kept it like that for this week. Okay, so for this session we're gonna take one from. Again, that place of fear. We're, we're battling fear, and we're going to take one from you and your your higher selves and your place of compassion. So we saw last <laughs> last session, you definitely was not compassionate with fear, and it's understood why. But we're we're going to work on 
being compassionate with fear and that will definitely help you be compassionate with um those in your energy okay so amazing so this one is coming from fear so they said take two so we'll take two from fear that's one so fear is trying to keep you from grounding yourself from connecting to spirit and releasing yourself of negative energies and dark energies right with this nature's calling other tree so spirit i mean fear is trying to keep you so what <laughs> that's great okay that's crazy you're not okay and then fear is trying to keep you in an energy where you where people um treat you as if you're not their type right um fear keeps you in the energy is trying to keep you in the energy where you're not good enough okay for a certain type of person or energy right um it's just trying to keep you again in a low vibration right keeping negative energies around you um keeping you from gaining spiritual knowledge and wisdom um especially from hugging a tree because we know that trees are literally um the akashic records so it is literally ancestors holding knowledge and wisdom and, and and you gain information from trees so again this this devil this this devil this fear right this demon is trying to keep you stuck trying to keep you in a low vibration trying to keep you in a place where again like i said things just aren't going the way you want them to go right people don't see you for who you are right and again that um not accepting um okay um really people being incompassionate to you right um so let's see let's see your response and again compassion caterpillar okay Compa dang Compassion, get out the house. Okay, so your compassionate energy responds to this fear um, trying to keep you from elevating and connecting with nature is simply just getting out the house, right? Um, it, it just is what it is. You just do it. It's really no response. It's just an, an action, okay? An action that you take, right? So that's that's cool. Just don't even have... It's, it's like it's a uh, watch me and energy right so I'm, i'll show you type <laughs> like all right and then when it comes to you're not my type we have divine masculine so your energy towards this is okay your energy towards this is coming from a place of stability a place of it could literally be being rejected um and or trying to make you feel less than your divine counterpart so again we saw that you are chosen and it, it must be time for you and your divine counterpart to come into union right um so that's what's happening here they, they're trying to keep you from ascending and reaching this place of divine union of 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 kingdom marriage okay um because again once this union comes into uh once this union comes together right um it's really an energy where <laughs> it's is power right and the, when the two of you together the two of you are now one the two of you become whole okay um and that's what the devil and the, the this fear is trying to keep from happening okay and so um that's why they're trying to keep you from being compassionate because you must not be very compassionate to your divine masculine okay and so that's the energy that i'm picking up on here okay um if you have come in contact with them or not right um i feel a Again, it's just this energy of you being high-headed and popping off and, you know, the way you came out and cussed fear out in the last session, you know, that's the 
same kind of energy I get when it comes to you and your divine masculine. So that's probably the energy that is making this divine masculine come off in the you're not my type because no one wants to deal with someone that talks to them like that, right? People want to be um, around people that are understanding and empathetic and can, you know, um, really... (sighs) see them for who they are and not try to change them okay um so yeah let's see let's see so we're really getting to the gist of it right so being a side chick was really a distraction it was really again to keep you off track to keep you out of alignment right so the the longer you were out of alignment or off the path of compassion right the the worse it got right so it's it's like now spirit is like okay it's time to get on the right path and (laughs) fear is trying to kick in right by saying that or or by keeping you in the energy of of being um incompassionate not compassion okay so let's see i like to Eat, eat, eat. Okay, um, I'm trying to see where I'm being guided to go with this, okay? Because this is all like, you know, we're transmuting this energy, so. We could go to the sacred rebels. Okay, cool. So we have seeing the true you, right? Again, this is giving me an energy where you have to have faith in the process, right? And I feel the true you is very compassionate, right? The true you is very understanding, right? Um, And I feel like your divine masculine could be seeing the true you. At one point, they didn't think you were their type, but I feel like, again, you're healing, you're transmuting energy, right? You're you're growing, right? And now it's like things are starting to come together, right? So, um, that's possibly why, um, again, this Divine Masculine is coming out in this reading, okay, um, in this session, because, again, the universe is trying to bring this con- this connection together. Someone is in the energy of having faith and prayer, okay, through prayer. Um, they're, they're trusting in the process that things will change and that the two of you will be able to see the true you in each other right so not only are they seeing the true you but they want you to be able to see the true them right again going back to that place of compassion seeing them for but if are they offering the true them it is it, the question right are they coming in and being authentic or are they showing you uh, a, a side of themselves or a, a, a mask okay um yeah like i don't okay i I, I mean, I can't just see somebody just being incompassionate to somebody just because, you know, like, I don't know, maybe maybe through all the trauma, through all the hurt. But again, um, this is just you perfecting um, your energy, right? Getting to a place and, and healing your heart, right? Um, getting to a place where you are comfortable in your own emotions to the point where you can allow people to have their and be comfortable with theirs and not let theirs interfere with yours, right? Um, by And I feel like that the main point is, again, from last session, it was all about that light lighting up your divine path, your spiritual path. So that's the energy here, right? Making sure that you focus on the light, making sure that you focus on what is being presented for you ahead, right? That beautiful dream that is coming into manifestation, okay? So that's the energy here, right? So now is the time to see this true masculine, to see this 
yeah, the seed is masculine for who they are, okay? Um, and, <laughs> and accept them, right? Um, be in this energy of empathy, right? Um, allowing them to, uh, like, figure things out for themselves, right? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to get a mediumship card on this. Because I just feel it's a lot of telepathy here. Okay. Um, we have moments of gratitude. Okay. So, again, someone, this masculine, right? This divine masculine is having a, a wanting to have a moment of gratitude with you they're wanting to share something with you they're wanting to give thanks to you um they're wanting to share their love with you um again yeah there's a spirit communication process happening between you and your divine masculine here okay um and it's coming from a place of being this inspirational medium okay and that's what's that's what's shifting here so i feel like again like you've been showing this person compassion through again telepathy through the spirit realm through um yeah your your higher selves okay which is is why this person is wanting to come in with this this big gesture of love and show you how committed and, and grateful they are um for you and to you right um i feel like you know they they have a lot of thanks for you helping them as you help yourself like it's a mirror here because seeing the true you is the number 29 breaking down to the number 11 which again lets me know that this is your twin flame um and, and this is um again that's that mirror energy you all are mirroring each other so so since we have this big old heart here I don't have any love oracles, but I do have a love tarot deck. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. Again, this is destined. This is destiny, and it's like it's time, right, with this... um hourglass here yeah it's time for this union we have the ten of cups with the five of swords coming out in the reverse so it's like this person again is wanting you to they don't want to argue they don't want to fight they just want to have a happy loving compassionate relationship right and that's what i feel you want as well that's what fear is trying to keep right keep from happening so i feel like what's showing up here for me and, and for this caterpillar is that you know the devil is trying to keep you from having this ten of cups this happy life happy marriage this, this happy union with your divine counterpart right um and just being happy and free and, and loving and compassionate and understanding right and, and nurturing they're trying to keep you from having that and keep you in the energy of arguing and, and fighting and just really not saying eye to eye right and that's the thing here it's time to transmute that energy and the best way to transmute that energy for this caterpillar is by getting out the house okay so it's going to be important that this caterpillar make sure that they because this caterpillar is an outdoors energy okay um it's a nature kid it's a nature being it's the earth angel right um and so it is it's given right um that you know that's where they find and keep their balance that's where they keep things at, at, at bay at peace right like like you know it, it keeps them again like i say balanced to where they're not in this argumentative energy okay um so that's what i'm getting with that
we have the nine of pentacles coming out and we have the eight of cups in the reverse okay so this divine masculine right um is really again regretting and, and really wanting to come back towards you right um i feel like they don't see you coming back right the eight of cups is you walking away right so you walked away from this person right um and your response is you know um and it's really not even your response because this masculine energy has taken over and i feel like that's who's really pushing you towards this energy of compassion because they don't want you to walk away they don't want you to be single and see that's what the devil wants that's what fear wants fear wants to keep you single fear wants to keep you in the energy where um you're this independent woman where you feel you don't need a man right that 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 yeah, that's what I'm getting off this nine of pentacles, right? Um, fear wants to keep you in that energy, but the divine is trying to offer you love and union and and um, commitment and happiness with a family, okay? And because that's what we've been talking about, you know, in 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 the last in the last week's sessions okay um about this family that that it, you're you're supposed to have, okay? Um. So we have this page of pentacles and possibly even a child, right? Um, with this page of pentacles energy, but this is also an energy of again, um, really being in a, a, a childlike energy, uh, energy where you you're ready to um, make something grow, you're ready to plant a seed, right? Um, I feel like you know the seed that you planted it, it may possibly be growing it's just this may be the final component you know before things can possibly come together okay all right this divine masculine didn't want you to walk away that's not what they wanted they just didn't want to argue with you anymore they didn't want you to be single. They want to be in this connection. They know that the two of you are destined. And they're going to come in with this, this energy, I feel. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with Um, these are the fixed signs, right? And not even necessarily fixed signs. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or Capricorn. Let's see. What else we got going on here? What else do you need to know? We can go ahead and get ready to close it out. We're talking about your destiny. So we can go to the... I want to get a sneak peek. It's like, I just really want to use these so bad. I don't know why. So, I'm going to pull one. We're going to close this reading out. And we got one. We got Juno. We got Juno. So, um, this Juno energy, right? This Juno energy is really all about the partner, right? It, that's, that's Juno. When you're looking in the astros. And at the asteroids, right? That's the partner. And the partner is all about commitment. It's all about trust. It's all about equality, support, and cooperation. They're looking for that, right? They don't want... I feel like, you know, when Juno, it, it come out, it, it's like 
evaluating what's working in the relationship and what's not right and how you can get to a place of peace how you can get to a place of compassion so this partner that's why um this this re this session is here because this is your partner this is your counterpart right um this is just the energy where this this partner is, is wanting to not really focus on just the history of this connection, but again, the possible future moving forward. Again, this will of fortune, the destiny, the the the, the outcome, right? So they want they want a connection with you, but they have to see that you can be compassionate, <laughs> like for real. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Like I said, this is things that's going on spiritually that's trying to come into union, right? So I'm going to close it out with a card from, <laughs> and that's amazing. We have Heart of Mother Earth. And isn't that what I've been saying? Like this, this connection is a very earthy connection. Has a very powerful connection to Mother Earth. Okay, um, and it's a very outdoors energy. It's a very um, nature filled vibe. The both of these uh, energies. Okay, um, and that is what is going to heal this connection that is what is going to bring this connection into union okay that's what's shifting so the more you're outdoors the more you're out in nature the more you are calling in um and healing and opening up to this energy of compassion so that you can be with your divine counterpart okay um so this is amazing this this whole energy of healing this caterpillar was again so that she can come into divine union this is a a twin flame energy okay um so this session is pretty much over i'm going to go ahead and close it out and i will see you in the next session love and light